I don't want to give too much away just yet, but just know Fear of God Essentials is going in a whole new direction. I think you're going to want to stick around to hear about it. Yo, what is good guys and welcome back to the channel. For today's video, we're going to be discussing all things fear of God related, which does include fear of God mainline, fear of God athletics, as well as fear of God essentials. But first, if you could just take a moment to go ahead and like today's video and subscribe to my channel with notifications on to let me know to keep the fear of God related content coming. As you guys know, I am very, very selective as to what sponsors come onto the channel and as selective as I previously was. I'm gonna be even more selective, as in, I'm pretty much gonna be taking no sponsors. For that reason, the best way you can support me as a creator is to support my businesses like Locust and Wild Honey Clothing. As you guys know, this has been a process over the duration of the last few years, something I am very, very passionate about. And we are now at Genesis Drop 3, and you guys absolutely loved it. So Genesis Drop 3 will be restocking in about 30 days time. Also, if you hadn't heard just yet, I did launch a watch company known as Aura Watch. The goal of Aura Watch is to disrupt the watch market, offering the highest value watches. And as you guys may have already heard, I do offer a special discount code to you, my Locust and Wild Honey community. So feel free to go ahead and check that stuff out. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the first topic. As you guys may or may not have already seen, Fear of God 8th Collection Delivery 1 is in full effect. You can find them over at retailers, those of which I will provide links to down below. But the collection looks so, so impressive. Jerry's really leaning far back into this concept of quiet American luxury, and I am so here for it. As of this very moment, I do plan on picking up just one piece from this first delivery, and that is the striped pants. Fortunately, no, they're not the suede corduroy fringe pants, as those are like $4,000. I will be picking up the standard form pants. I do think those are very, very beautiful, but a few things really did catch my eye with regard to mainline that I think is worth discussing here and now, and it has nothing actually to do with delivery one. The first one being that we're getting brand new versions of the wildly successful Fear of God California. In this photo, we have a Fear of God California 3.0 that looks to be slightly altered in the sense that the midsole does have a curvature to it, which tells me a couple of things. This is going to be a design element, but in addition to that, could we possibly be seeing a slightly different insole for the shoe? Maybe a concaving at the midfoot? I could definitely see that being a very comfortable addition, but also there is going to be a slide version, which is an Instacop for me. And finally, there is a Fear of God California boot which kind of gives me kind of like rain boots kind of vibes just with a sleeker, more narrow toe box. But yeah, I'm totally here for it. All three pairs look very, very good to me. Out of the three, I'm probably gonna be picking up the slides. Speaking of new versions of previous shoes, this right here is probably the most mind boggling to me and somewhat the most welcome addition. Well, during fifth collection, we got the Fear of God mainline basketball sneaker, which I was a massive, massive fan of. For eighth collection, we're getting a new version of that respective shoe, at least from an assumptions point of view, because I don't know necessarily that it's gonna be called a basketball shoe 2.0, but these more or less look like that aforementioned basketball sneaker. I do anticipate the shoe having a slightly altered toe box, which is going to make a world of difference to complement some of the more straight leg and baggier offerings from Fear of God 8th Collection. In addition to that, we've seen leaks of a couple different pairs of footwear, both of which I'm not necessarily too keen on, but you guys let me know in the comment section down below what you think about these new leaks. And now transitioning from mainline over to Fear of God Athletics, rumored to be releasing this month are new color variations of what we've already seen in Delivery 1 of Fear of God Athletics, first being the basketball sneaker coming in this Oxford tan looking colorway. Definitely a very fire and versatile colorway, one that could potentially take the place of the all white, minus the anxiety of trying to keep them clean. Now, coming out of the Locust and Wild Honey Facebook group, somebody actually posted these boots here, which is definitely giving a cross section between the old Yeezy season and a modern day Fear of God Athletics. 
from a shape perspective, I do like the way these boots look, but something about the three stripes honestly isn't doing too, too much for me. Finally, from the footwear aspect, we are gonna be getting a brand new colorway of the Fear of God Los Angeles runner. Now, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. I definitely slept on the OG colorway and I'm certainly grateful that I'm gonna have another opportunity to pick these up for retail because I am not sleeping on these shoes. I've been kind of doing away with more of the hype stuff. I actually don't really wear um, any of the hype stuff as much anymore and just really leaning more into things that I genuinely like. I like that the shoe is somewhat inconspicuous. It's not totally attention grabbing or crazy hype. It's just a good shoe made of good materials with a good design. And so to me, the shoe definitely ticks every single box. And so for that reason, I'm definitely gonna be picking these up. And then finally, as part of this next release coming this month are gonna be new colorways of the clothing that we've already seen. I don't think I need to say too, too much more, but go ahead and check out my full and comprehensive review of Fear of God Athletics. I will have that linked down below if you guys wanna hear a little bit more about how it fits, the composition, the quality, and all that good stuff. And now we are on to Fear of God Essentials. If you made it this far into the video, you are absolutely in for a treat. Actually, as a matter of fact, go ahead and comment down below if you made it this far. I can last to go ahead and kind of confuse the people who are just here reading, but to show me that you made it all the way through to the video. But anyways, I digress. Let's go ahead and get the vegetables out of the way because the way I'm gonna end today's video is going to be a huge nuke of a drop. I don't wanna give too much away just yet, but just know Fear of God Essentials is going in a whole new direction. I think you're gonna wanna stick around to hear about it. But first, Delivery 2 is on the way, which is essentially comprised of three new color offerings of what we've seen. If you're unfamiliar with the pieces from Drop One, I'd went ahead and reviewed every single piece and that should help you with this next delivery. But yes, three new colorways, first gray accented with cream, tan accented with teal, and a new core black offering, which does include the logo crew neck for $105, the drawstring lounge pants priced at 100, the heavyweight logo tee priced at 80, the logo sweatshorts also priced at 80, the mock neck hoodie priced at 100, the football v-neck tee priced at 100, the lounge sweatpants priced at 100, the logo mock neck hoodie priced at 100, and the relaxed sweat shorts priced at 80 bucks. Out of everything, I am most excited for the black sweatpants. I made it no secret that I was absolutely obsessed with the Heather Oat sweatpants from Delivery One. They just fit so amazing. Really the best sweatpants I own right now. I actually have three pairs that I regularly rotate. And so there's a very good chance I'm gonna take doubles of the sweatpants in black. All right, now moving on to the main attraction of today's video and probably the biggest news to come out of anything relating to Fear of God. And that is Fear of God Fall 2024. These leaks come from somebody in the Locust of Wild Honey Facebook Facebook group. Shout out to him for providing us with this invaluable information. We're going to be seeing brand new color palettes beginning with the fading options. Jerry Lorenzo is going to be breaking away from the monochromatic, the tonal, and the minimalist, opting for the more collegiate, more vintage, and military aesthetic, which translates all the way through this entire collection. You're not just going to see Essentials or Essentials Fear of God typeface. And in exchange, you're going to see Fear of God State, Fear of God Wrestling, Fear of God Homecoming, Fear of God Fraternity, and a little bit of Fear of God Essentials. In addition to the typeface, as I mentioned, there is going to be a faded element to it. As we've seen in Fear of God 8th Collection, it looks like they're using a potassium spray, something similar to what I did with a drop one of Genesis. And I do anticipate Fear of God really, really executing this so, so well, as Jerry Lorenzo is just a master when it comes to everything relating to design. I just can't wait, man. I'm so excited how this stuff um, is gonna turn out. We're also gonna be seeing new fabrics. We're not just gonna be getting cotton or brush fleece. While we are gonna be seeing those things we see the introduction of more knitwear more french terry more mesh more nylon and different fabrications and textiles resulting in what looks like military inspired garments i'm 100 here for it this new fear of god essentials for 2024 i do believe will be an upward trajectory for the brand as i fully anticipate the first drop being pretty limited resellers coming and the cycle is going to continue of the building of the hype kind of like what they did 
it for the first time Fear of God Essentials was introduced. It's gonna be good stuff, man. I'm so, so hyped. I'm very enthused as you can probably already tell. And that's where I kind of land today's video. What do you guys think about everything that I discussed in regard to the Fear of God leaks for mainline athletics as well as essentials? I'm definitely interested in having a full blown conversation in the comments below. If you hadn't checked it out already, go ahead and hit the links down below to check out my collection as well as Aura Watch and I will catch you in the next upload. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by today's video. I really appreciate you. It's my privilege to get to serve you through making products as well as content. Anyways, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace and be blessed.